Hey Net, what's this stuff called systems thinking? I hear people talking about it, and they don't seem to make any sense. They're really giving me a headache. Well wit, this Austrian biologist named Bertolin Fee figured out that there are times when 1 and 1 doesn't equal 2. What the hell are you talking about Net? Everybody knows that 1 and 1 equals 2, don't they? Wit, you spent your whole life learning how to analyze things, to take them apart, understand what the parts do, and then assemble the understanding of the parts into an understanding of the whole. Nick, as far as I know everyone thinks that way don't they? It's the scientific method. Everybody learns it, yes wit, everybody learns it, though there's a better way to think about things. What do you mean a better way to think about things Nick? This analysis stuff has managed to get me, the life to this point. So why do I need to learn something else? Wit there is another way to think called synthesis, where you ask what something is part of. You first identify the containing whole, of which it is a part. Then you try to understand the behavior of the containing whole. And finally you disaggregate the understanding of the whole, by identifying the role or function, of what I'm trying to explain in that whole. What the hell are you talking about Nit? You're giving me more of a headache than all those people talking about systems thinking. Nit, maybe you could make believe I'm not smarter than a fifth grader? Wit, there are certain things we just can't understand just by taking things apart, like what Nit? Well wit, water is wet isn't it? Yes, the last time I looked, and what is water made of wit? Water is made out of hydrogen and oxygen, isn't it? And they are both gases aren't they wit? Yes they are. But where are you going with this net? You can only experience wetness if you study water as it interacts with the environment around it. If you take it apart and study it, you'll never find wetness. Well net, this sort of makes sense though are there some guidelines about how one goes about thinking about systems? Well there are a number of habits of a systems thinker, though maybe we could talk about them tomorrow. In the meantime you might find the discussions at Systems Thinking World on LinkedIn meaningful.